when Rod Steiger was here for one of our private screenings interviews, he said he felt the best performance in this movie was the one given by Lee Grant as the widow of the murdered businessman. Rod said he felt Lee Grant had the toughest role because it was written, in his opinion, stereotypically. But he said as an actress, Lee Grant found layers to that part that weren't at all apparent in reading the script. And that stunned Rod Steiger. In the Heat of the Night was both a commercial and critical hit and inspired two successful film sequels, both focusing on the character not of Chief Gillespie, but on Virgil Tibbs. Then came, of course, the successful TV series starring Carol O'Connor and Howard Rollins, Jr. But none of those later incarnations really captured the intensity or the impact of this film version. Up next, a groundbreaking film that also was nominated as 1967's Best Picture and made Dustin Hoffman an overnight star. Tonight on TCM's 31 Days of Oscar, 1967's Best Picture nominees are trying to seduce you. Next with The Graduate. Then Sidney Poitier is a surprise guest and guess who's coming to dinner. And banks and bullets collide throughout Bonnie and Clyde. Turner Classic Movies and Warner Home.